and the cabling is here for the transducer and the radar. I haven't plugged them in because I'm going to take this head back off again. I, I've kept it so that this head can be taken off whenever I'm not sailing the boat and I'm not away from the boat. This can be secured inside the boat in a safe place and not left in the cockpit to be taken. All right, let's go below and I'll show you what's been going on downstairs. Here we go. Now inside the boat, there's nothing that can be seen on the surface too much, but what has happened is I have put new, see there, power points, as you can see, with USB ports. There are eight of these all around the boat that have been put in place. Yes, that's the TV. That's a 43 inch screen TV I've put on the wall there as well. And we have a new LED light that has been put in place for the kitchen area. The kitchen area also has LED over here for the alcove. It's very bright. That's been put in as well. I have now got these switches here which you can see chart plotter knots and wind speed these are all the power switches for those items i'm going to turn the chart plotter off now coming across here you'll notice that there's another one of those new power points there these leds have been placed on either side these are brand new interior lights all 24 volt system and if we go through into the V berth, you'll note we have these new ones as well. There's a night light and then the full power and turn back off again. And these are on both sides. So they're very nice. Now when it came to putting these new power points in, I found that the entire starboard side of the boat, the wiring system had to be replaced. All the wires deteriorated and fell apart and had to rewire through the entire boat so that all of that was done now this way we come across into the power board I'm going to turn the light on here and we'll notice that all of the wording has been changed with new updated stickers using a uh, uh, anyway, we've also got, now we can see what we we're dealing with, 12 and 24 volt system. Because some of the, a couple of the items, like the chart plotter, will only run on 12 volts. So I had to keep some things on 12 and then modify other items to become 24 volt, which has been done on the back board here. So the wiring looks a little bit messy, I haven't tied it off yet. But you'll notice here, this is your 12 volt system that I've set up. So that stays 12 volt. And the rest of the items that have still got the original wiring in place are still 24 volt. I will be able to make it much neater and tidier like it looks on the 110 volt side, which looks quite sweet. So that's going to be very close to being done. So that's all been redone. Now over to turn around into the engine room. While we're here, I can uh, show that the, uh, we have here, we have 24 volt fuse system set up here. The bilge pumps run through there. And um, we've still got a lot of old wiring here that I haven't pulled out yet. That's no longer uh, doing its job but what we do over here on this board over this area is the 12 volt fuse panel plus a 12 a 20 a 24 to 20, 12 volt inverter it's a little 480 watt unit there runs about 45 amps at the maximum what I also have above here is the that little silver and black item right there is the switch for the fuel pumps 
that have now been connected up and wired in and there's also a relay there for the same system so that's all been wired in as well so that's all been done the engine itself has been worked on we now have got a brand new start battery there for cranking the engine that'll have so that's all been wired into place the entire fuel system and the starting system is wired up through that battery there it is separate to the house batteries which are the AGMs under here which run the house system one goes down I can uh, outfit it so it works off the other so that's been done as well still a bit of work to be done but we're making real progress now into the afterbirth area we'll come through here and the afterbirth area now has got the same sort of lights as in the v-birth but a uh, yellow cone on it a little bit softer light and you'll notice you can have that on at night time just a little night light so you can find your way to the switch totally off and the other thing I did was I you can't really see it but I'll show it to you there is a cutout here in the bed the reason being I can now fully open the door without taking the board out and I can make my way into the aft head and the lights is now we now have light very bright and the water works as well as you can see there we go a bit of water this is the uh, cover I put in place for the wiring from the uh, mizzen mast I was thinking about putting a cover through here as well to cover that part up just to make it as pretty as it is down here so all of that has been done and we now have an operational after birth area yeah. and the other thing that is now we continue back into oh wait before i do go you'll see this item here it's a co2 detector this is this for the aft birth area i put that on the wall and it's about two feet higher than the uh, bed itself so i think that should be good now going back into the saloon we can um, now have a look under the floor here i'm going to take this ladder out there has been moved I'm going to lift the board up here underneath the ladder which is where the uh, new hot water tank has been placed the hot water tank has got a 24 volt 900 watt element in it now it used to be 120 volt that's been changed out and I also went to the hassle of putting in new fittings as well just to make it all updated you'll also notice there is a 24 volt 2000 gallons per hour uh, bilge pump beside it there as well that there is the water pump for the water system in the boat and um, so that's all been connected and wired in now so that's all been done so that's how far we have gotten I can uh, wait a minute I can show water pressure on a little bit of a hum as it pressurizes and we do have water at the sink very nice so there's that um, what else can I show you I think that's about it for now it doesn't seem like a lot but the amount of wiring that I did took over two months to do that and I'm pretty well done with wiring even though there's a little bit more to do I'm going to focus on other things the next major project you've probably seen a little um, video of me starting the engine the next video will show the engine running and um, 
what I've managed to do up on deck as well with that and uh, so that should be coming in the next week or two and uh, yep that's where we're at right now the boat as you can see has got stuff everywhere I've got junk here I've got junk here the navigation desk absolute mess just junk all over the place the workbench junk all over it it's just becoming <laughs> a bit of a nightmare but when you're doing major projects you haven't got much room you have to store all the stuff you're working with everywhere you anywhere you can any flat surface you can find so that's it for now um, I will uh, keep you updated in the next couple of weeks and we'll see the engine running all right thank you bye bye